So uh, today let's do some product photography, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in a professional way. I've got some interesting stuff today. I've uh, bought this camera right here. It's just a freaking cool thing to, to, to photograph, you know. There's a lot of uh, textures to it, uh, light reflecting surfaces. Today I'm going to show you I, the steps I go through to take photos of this typical product lifestyle photo photography. And uh, you'll see it's actually not that difficult. Before we set up, we need props to complement our subject in the photo. When you choose these items, think about texture, shapes, color and reflectability. Remember that any surface that appears brighter than the focus point will distract you from the subject. I've got my hands on some old items which fit in just perfectly. It's old, it's dirty, it's brown and just like the camera, it tells a story. Okay, so I've got a nice black wall. It's a backdrop here behind me. Um, you don't need this. You can actually get a piece of black cardboard. Let me get you a sample. So this is an old piece of, of uh, blackboard that I got somewhere. I bought it from a local uh, art store. But essentially what you can do is place this behind your table, like so, and you can build yourself a backdrop. So we've got our table, we've got our background. Let's uh, start placing our subject and then our props around it. Okay, so we've got our uh, basic setup here. Um, we've got the subject, the ca old camera in the middle, all our props around it. Um, and what we need to do now is play with the lighting. Lighting is what's going to make a good photo. Uh, we need to start playing with lights and light modifiers. I'm going to show you what you can use. Um, it's definitely the key aspect of taking any good photo. Okay, I've got my first setup here. Um, this is what they call a fill light. It's our biggest, softest light. Um, and we use this just to set the lighting of the, of the overall atmosphere. Then I've got two more lights. I've got my key light, which is the brightest light over here. It's a small Vigem LED light. We've got another one over here. This is the, giving us a nice yellow light on the background. Some other modifiers I also use is simple pieces of blackboard. The same we use for the back for the for the backdrop drop. Um, this is an A4 size piece of cardboard, blackboard. You can find this at your local art shop. Um, and this is what I use to uh, block light out from from a certain light for or from a certain side. So what I'll do is I'll take this, this small light and I'll just play around with it, see what, how it lights my scenery, see what pieces of my subject it enhances or put focus on. And um, if it seems like it's in a good place, but it's putting light on a, on a place that I want to, don't want uh, to have light, I'll use a modifier to block that light out for my photo. Great, so let, let's go in photo mode quickly and then uh, show you what this looks like. basically sums up um, what I do or how I go about uh, lifestyle product photography. Um, so just to run through the basics again, choose your subject, uh, get a theme, get your props according to that theme, then place down your, your subject, find the correct angle and with the angle try and find a point of view that people don't usually see. Um, focus on what tells the story, choose your depth of field to contribute towards that story. And then finally, the most important one is using light. Uh, use light, choose many lights, use light modifiers. Some cases, you only need one light to take a good photo. In other cases, you need 40 lights to take a good photo. So play around with it, learn the basics. Unfortunately, nothing is as easy as picking up a camera and taking a photo. But I promise you, having this, uh, this, this guide, 
you'll, you'll quickly find it. So thanks for watching guys and uh, we will see you in the next episode.